Hey everyone, so I wanna do this video on um, how to kind of manage your posture um, in terms of working your body more in extension rather than so much in flexion, which are kind of like your mirror muscles. Um, so all those muscle groups that when you're in a slouched posture, which in this in this day and age we are we are on our phones we are um are working on a desk we're watching tv like we are more in this position where our shoulders come forward on front neck muscles become really tight and it gives us this slouched posture and what happens is when we're doing this for so many hours per day um our body becomes fixed in this in this state so when we stand up and try and open back up it's like we're trying to push against gravity to open back up and the, for the extensor chain to activate. So what's likely to happen if you are a desk worker or someone that's on the phone all day, most likely like most of us right now, when we are at home in, in lockdown, um, we're going to be coming in all our flexor muscle groups and our flexor chain will become short and tight. So what we need to do is we need to make sure these extensor muscle groups are keeping awake, keep them fired up so that when we stand up or they they maintain us so we don't end up going forward and more forward that we get all our tight neck, tight neck muscle groups um obviously getting referred pain like headaches um or there's so many referred things that you would get little niggly injuries that are coming from this main thing the, the fact that you probably sat on your bum all day um, <laughs> and all of the extensor chain mainly your glutes your glutes are so so important i can't stress this enough um for maintaining fun functional movement, maintaining your upright posture and keeping things activated. Um, and most of the time when we are sat down, they tend to fall asleep. So working on this daily is really important in my eyes. Like I would do um, little, act little activation exercises daily that I would manage around doing the cleaning, like just to keep them awake because I am sat down a lot at the moment because I'm at home. So it's just being aware of your posture um, and all these referred things. If you are um, too much in your flexor chain, so this, you're kind of slouched forward um, and you will stand up, you're going to get things like flat feet, you're going to get knocked knees, you're going to get um, forward slouched posture, you're going to get like a forward head. Um, all these referred things is the fact that your extensor chain has started to fall asleep um, all those, mostly those muscle groups, the little ones that you can't really see, um, because all your mirror muscles, which they call them, like your biceps, your your pecs, and everything like that, most of the, most of the time, the ones that we want to go and work in the gym, because they're the ones that you can see in the mirror, that's kind of what happens, um, when overall, it's actually affecting your posture in a very, very negative way, when you're not doing it with the extensor chain as well. So it's really important to work them in sync, to make sure that there's a balance because of course, working in flexion is very important as well. And we do want those kind of muscle groups, but having it work in balance is what is key for good posture, to give you the best uh, aesthetic look as well, um, to keep injuries at bay um, and to, to keep your body functioning well going forward for, the, for any kind of activity or um, long-term body health as well. So the main thing is being aware of how your posture is right now. Um, making sure if you are in that flexed, in, in inflection with like your shoulder joints and like in that kind of position that you're getting up certain points of the day and you're activating your glutes, um, things like leg extension, working at leg extension, so um, activating the glutes and squeezing them, um, making sure that they, they stay awake. Um, there's, there's so many exercises that I can refer, um, which I'll probably do a separate video on. Um, just to make sure that people know actually what they can do to activate the extensor chain. But it's something that with what I offer um, in KK therapy, it's what is different is because I work on releasing in this in this aspect of um, in people that are in overflexion. I work on releasing those muscle groups. I relax them so then you can activate them in the in the extensor chain. Because if your flexor muscle groups were so tight, you wouldn't be able to get the range to work them in extension because you'll have a compensating joints. Like if you if you try and activate your glutes in extension, but you haven't got the range, your lumbar would take over and you would do uh, lumbar extension instead of and you will go into more of a flex position once you go for a certain how it depends on how much range you've got. 
but you'll just compensate. So this is why when I when I give rehab, when I do massage treatments, I give rehabilitation programs so it can work in sync. So you would do the release work, which you can do with trigger point therapy, or you can have massage treatment. Um, or and then you can have the strengthening and conditioning as well as that. So it works in sync, but you've got to know your foundations. And at most mostly it is down to the fact that there's an imbalance between flexion, the, the flexor chain and the extension chain. Um, so yeah, like this is like really key to when people come to me with little niggly injuries. I look at the whole system because you can have, um, for example, a shoulder injury um and you know like you feel like your joints come out of place you could go to a chiropractor they can put it back in but if your chains ain't firing right and you're going to the gym doing the exact same thing you're going to keep going back and back like you it's inevitable that that injury is not going to go away um so it's finding the right the reason behind it all between your posture chains to know what's going on to realize what's why is that referred pain happening because there's a reason for it um and and also i'm going to be offering some uh zoom calls if anyone feels like this is like them and this this sounds like you and you're um i mean i'm going to do a video tutorial on how to activate your extensor chain how to release your flexor chain but if you want something more sp specific to you then um i'm going to be doing zoom calls um to do private consultations online as well so drop me a dm if you are interested in that but otherwise uh, there will be a video to follow with activating the um, extensor chain and doing those little work, activating your muscle groups in your glutes, um, doing those kind of workouts, and then doing trigger point release that you can do from at home with a tennis ball, um, with um, a, a foam roller, some stretches to help you get into that. Combine them both, and it's a pretty magical thing with, to do with your posture, and you will feel so much better. Um, so yeah, hope that gives you some information, but that's basically some knowledge that I work from that works really well um, with with helping people relieve injuries um, and keeping them in sync, um, whether it's to do with aesthetics and, and symmetry, but more to do with um, injuries, injury management and prevention. So yeah, hope those little tips help, but there will be videos to follow um, on more information on that. So yeah, awesome. Thank you.